you have to start by asking a question. Real knowing starts with questioning. You do have to like to read, and you have to like to talk. You can hate everything else, but if you like to read and like to talk, then this is the place. I don't ever feel like I've just read the answer in a book or had my tutor tell it to me. I always feel like my classmates and I have figured it out together. We study great books, which means the texts that are foundational to our civilization in every area that you can think of. We don't use textbooks and we don't have lectures. We only use primary sources and all classes are discussion based. So instead of reading a textbook telling us what Plato thinks and what Aristotle thinks, we are actually reading Plato and Aristotle and figuring out for ourselves what they think. It's a unique place in that we don't believe in departments. We don't think the human mind has departments. So uh, a lot of students just find new areas of themselves because they're forced to stretch. Every class relates to the next. It's such a unique curriculum. Nowhere else do you get to read all these incredible books and get to talk about them and explore them in this way. Classes at St. John's are 15 to 20 people. They're led by either one or two tutors, with what we call our professors, to kind of level the playing field. In class, we're all equal. We use last names, we use Mr. and Miss. This tends to make the classroom a very democratic place. Outside classes, St. John's tutors are just everywhere. You meet them in hallways, you talk to them at lunchtime in the coffee shop. We go to lunch with students, we meet them for coffee, we study books with them outside of the material of the classroom. We are parts of their lives, they are parts of our lives. So you really have every opportunity to get to know your tutors. They're really invested in students' educations at St. John's. It's not just about what grade they give you, they want to see you succeed, and I think that that's a really unique relationship uh, that not a lot of colleges have. Sometimes you come into class and the students have been there for 15 minutes already talking about something because they're so excited to get started. After class, you go to the dining hall and people will still be talking Plato. You go to the gym and you find in between fencing bouts, they're talking Hamlet. That's very normal for this place. What do you do with a St. John's degree? And more broadly, what do you do with a, with a liberal arts education? Our graduates go on to do a full panoply of postgraduate education and careers. I am prepared for politics, for business, and for relationships, and above all, I'm prepared for happiness, basically. This school makes you stronger, it makes you braver, it makes you more capable and more confident in your intellectual abilities and your communication skills. I think it can really rock your world. It can really make things turn upside down in a wonderful way, but if you're taking it seriously in a hard way, it's making you th rethink your life. You're never gonna find anything like this anywhere else. Nothing has what St. John's has, so if it's at all interesting to a student, I recommend that that student come.